Good morning, friends. My name is Ted, and it's great to join you for morning prayers here at Holy Trinity Anglican Church in Brisbane's Fortitude Valley. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. So before we do anything else, let's pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence as revealed in your word, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. If you haven't done today's readings yet, now's an excellent time to do so. Go on, take all the time you need. We'll be here when you get back. Our memory verse for today comes from our second lesson, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 15. And Jesus died for all, so that those who live might live no longer for themselves, but for the one who for their sake died and was raised. Let's pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing you have made, and you forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain from you, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The book of Lamentations paints a bleak picture. Having just read the greater part of Jeremiah, we had some idea of the utter destruction that had come upon Jerusalem at the hand of the Babylonians. But here in Lamentations, we get a street level view of the scene. Jeremiah, the author of this book too, gropes around in his mind, searching for an illustration that can best demonstrate what it is like. He comes up with this extremely confronting image, a naked woman exposed, naked, turning her head in shame. If it makes you uncomfortable, then good. That's the point. These things happened to them to serve as an example, and they were written down to instruct us on whom the end of ages has come. Should we humans live for ourselves to try and find our own way in this world God has made, but without God's help, then we see just how useless and pathetic we are at this game. The past is a story of rebellion against God and God's goodness. And the future is the story of God's goodness overcoming our rebellion in spite of our best efforts. Christ died for the sake of our rebellion. The love of Christ urges us on because Christ died so that the judgment would pass over us. There is no more shame. Christ bore our shame. There is no more nakedness. Christ gives us the wedding robes of righteousness. There is no more death, because we have died with Christ, so that those who live might live no longer for themselves, but for the one who for their sake died and was raised. We tried living for ourselves, and it got us worse than nowhere. Then we lived for Christ, and we found love beyond understanding. Let's pray. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thanks for joining me today, friends. We'll see you again tomorrow. And in the meantime, God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. May we rekindle the gift of God within us. Amen.